spin. And if we spin it forward with the tournament MVP odds, it is a couple of Americans at the top of the odds board. LeBron now plus 110, but KD after that dynamic performance shrinks from 10 to 1 to 3 to 1. The shortest odds amongst any non-American, SGA, Shea Gildas Alexander of Canada, who is 11 to 1. All right, Joe, when you see these updated odds markets and the big move by KD almost running down LeBron, what are your thoughts? Piss! I didn't bet LeBron before this started <laughs> because you're looking at this and you're saying 40 minute game. Yeah, of course, Kerr's going to lean on him heavily, right? The minutes are going to be important and he played a ton of minutes. And on top of that, this is going to be his last Olympiad. So, yeah, they're probably going to feed him the ball and let him do everything he wants where he's going to rack up the stacks. He already leads the team in assists. He's second in scoring. He's second in rebounding. And again, he's going to continue to play the minutes. I think in some of these blowout situations, that's where you see Durant mm -hmm. possibly getting limited minutes because of the calf injury right. and all that that they've been talking about, although he looked fine yesterday. <laughs> so it's kind of just a pass. It's a FOMO thing. Could have played it earlier. Now at plus 110, I feel like I'm getting in late. It could close minus 400, and then I'd regret not playing it now, but I'm, I'm passing. Obviously, like you said, it's a FOMO thing, and we had talked about how minutes are really important in this, but obviously Kevin Durant, yes, he led the team in scoring with 23 points, only played 17 minutes. So things can go up and down. I obviously like Steph Curry on Friday. I talked about that. His odds actually ended up moving backwards. So if you still like him, I think that could be worth a shot. But again, it comes down to minutes and just who's going to be used at different times. There's really no strategy to this, which I kind of agree with Joe. Maybe just stay away from it. I know it's that plus money for LeBron. And by all means, if you think it's going to become minus money at some point, go bet it now. But th this is a tough market I'm out on. Well, you guys have some thoughts there. Our buddy Kendrick Perkins is going to join us, a rare July appearance from Perk on the show. And we'll Thanks, see Kirk. if he can convince you to jump in on LeBron Noir. He's got another name you should consider right now. That's coming up later in the show. But before we get to a break, Joe, anything else about this U.S. men's basketball team that catches your eye it's, since you have FOMO on LeBron? Yeah, LeBron's rebound to oh. lead the team in rebounding. Not yes, everybody. <laughs> just the team in rebounding is 4-1. to one. Anthony Davis is your favorite. He leads the team in rebounding so far. He's got eight, as you can see there. James has seven. Again, this is going to come down to minutes. Davis has to split minutes with Embiid and also Bam out of bio. They're not going to trot him out there 25 to 30 minutes a night. They need the minutes they can get from him. He also got himself into quick foul trouble here, which remember, five fouls and you're out of the game. So he could be somewhat limited in some of these spots. Whereas again, I think James is going to play a ton of minutes. He understands how to avoid foul trouble at the international level. He's been doing this for decades. I think four to one's a good price there, given how often he's going to be on the court. Nice way to compensate for your FOMO in the MVP market. Try to get something. Rebound market at a nice I had promo with both of you guys, not being here Friday. <laughs> oh, you miss me that much? Oh, yeah, that, those many mojitos. <laughs> LeBron James, the plus 110 favorite right now to win the MVP of the men's tournament. He was plus 250 prior to their U.S. opener against Serbia. KD making a big move from 10 to 1 to 3 to 1 after scoring 23 points in 17 minutes off the bench in that opener. A rare July appearance on the show from our pal Kendrick Perkins. Always great to see you, Perkins. <laughs> How you living, big fella? Hey, hey, Tyler, you know what? I'm too blessed to be stressed. You know what I mean? It's the off season, but I, I, I'm enjoying the Olympics. Phys, physical style of play on the basketball floor. LeBron, KD, they doing their thing. Anthony L was still in the mix. I mean, it's good. And we are blessed because we can make a wager or two if we'd like on some Olympic men's basketball. So that's why we have you here, Perk. Let's dive in to the tournament MVP odds to start. You saw KD make the big move after that game against Serbia. He was awesome. Is Durant a good bet in this market? Or do you think this is ultimately LeBron's award to lose? Oh, I'm going with KD. I'm going with KD. Look, we're talking about all-time leading score when it comes down to Team USA. We're talking about a walking bucket. Matter of fact, he was the MVP the last time Team USA <laughs> won the gold medal. Kevin Durant, this game is meant for him. This style of play, and he's not, look, here's the thing. All of these points that he had yesterday against uh, Serbia were off the dribble, jump shots. It was nothing in the paint, no physicality. He's going to keep it up, especially in the role that he's playing. Kevin Durant is going to continue to put up, put up buckets. I love the MVP odds for KD. Now 3-1 to one at ESPN Bet. Despite the play of KD and LeBron, Perk, the biggest story coming out of that opener for Team USA against Serbia was Jason Tatum not playing a single minute. Head coach Steve Kerr has already said that Tatum will see the floor against South Sudan. So who do you expect him to take minutes and points away from? I expect him to take points and minutes away from his guy, Derek White. I think, you know, 
Steve Kerr, he caught a lot of heat, especially on social media and, uh, and from a lot of former players, you know, in the defense of Jason Tatum. Look, Jason Tatum is supposed to be on the floor. Jason Tatum is a guy that you could plug in anywhere in America and he's going to adapt. 6'9", 6 6'10", 6 could do it all offensively, play the one through five if need be. Defensively, he can slide those puppies and protect the basket and guard pick and roll. Great on switches. So at the end of the day, I think he replaces Derek White. Uh, I think Steve Kerr leaned on him a lot against Sudan, and I think he go uh, shine like new money. All right, well, that matchup for Tatum, KD, LeBron, and the Americans against South Sudan, where they're a 29-and-a-half-point favorite. Now, they barely beat South Sudan in an exhibition game a few weeks back. I think they were a 43-and-a-half-point favorite in that game. Do you think the Americans bounce back and cover this huge spread against a team they barely beat just a few weeks ago? Absolutely not. Mm. I'm going South Sudan on this one. I'm taking the points, 29 and a half. I'm taking that. Look, the one thing about it is when they matched up with them earlier, uh, when they matched up with them a couple weeks ago or a week ago, they should have sent a message then. Now you give this team confidence. A team that is that's going to play hard, that has a lot of athleticism, that has a lot of grit and toughness. So at the end of the day, I know Sudan is going to come out and compete. I strongly believe it's going to be a dog fight. I think you, Team USA wins by a total of eight points. Okay. Not ten, eight points. That'd be an easy cover for South Sudan. And forgive my vacation calendar. It was not a couple weeks ago, just a week ago. Perk was right. I'm still getting yeah. used to where we're at now. Uh, uh, on the way out, Perk. It's all good. Yeah, I, I yeah. appreciate I appreciate the grace, big fella. On the way out, I do want to pick your brain <laughs> on a point prop. And you have to pick your poison here. Three options. Which bet do you like most in this Team USA matchup? LeBron over 16 and a half points, KD over 14 and a half, or Steph Curry over 12 and a half. So you mean to tell me that Kevin Durant only has to score 15 points to win this bet? I'm going KD all day <laughs> long. 14 and a half is the layup for him. He might have that in the first half again. Look, when you got a guy in my eyes that's considered the greatest score to ever touch the damn basketball, the most efficient score, in my opinion, to ever touch a damn basketball. He's 7-1. I don't care if they if he's saying he's 6 <laughs> He's 7-1. Could shoot over anybody. Has the complete package offensively. He's going to go out there and get buckets. Just remember this for a second, Tyler. He came out and had that fantastic first half. Beautiful thing to see. You know Kevin Durant hadn't touched the basketball, hadn't played five on five in the game for about three months. And he came out there like it was like riding a bike. His, his name, Easy Money Sniper for a reason. Yeah, that's some damn conviction from the big fella, Kendrick Perkins, liking KD yeah. over his point prop the most in that matchup. All right, Vic Perk, always a pleasure to chat with you.